Hello, fellow vault dwellers. JX360 over here bringing you something a little special today. So I had the honor of going to one of my friend's camps and he showed me something amazing. A fisherman's pub. Now I've been around uh, Appalachia and I've seen quite a few pubs, but I've never seen a fisherman's pub. So I'm gonna have my good friend give you a tour around his camp and hopefully you like what you see. All right, guys, enjoy. This is Batman's camp. And like I promised you, he's going to give you the full tour. So without further ado, here goes Liquid Batman. Hey, how we doing, everybody? Um, so before we actually get into the nice tour of the, uh, the pub I have created, uh, give you a little bit of area of where I built and kind of the idea, the approach, everything you're going to see here is going to obviously focus on fishing. Cause as you take a look around, there's a big old lake around us. Um, <laughs> I actually built right in the center of the lake that is over on the right hand side of the map in the mire by the Thunder Mountain power plant. Um, a lot of people may know the, of this spot. It's, kind of unique in the sense that you can actually build entire camps on the lake um but with that said like i said this is all fisherman themed um there's no random objects or anything um, it's it is a pub there is dining and i think on that note i th i'm might as well start the tour awesome all right, so uh, as you could see, we had started off um, in what I think we're going to start calling the Jacuzzi Speeder. <laughs> it's a custom-built speedboat, built-in jacuzzi for the driver and the passenger in the back. There's also a nice little front seater, if I could actually stay on it. <laughs> um, <laughs> If you take a look to the right of it, we have one of our kind of freakish fr <laughs> fishermen coming into dock, but we have a clown that's, you know, got his own little built canoe. Um, we do already have another boat. This happens to actually be in the world, um, but this is another fisherman that had already docked. Unfortunately, he couldn't figure out how to get out of his boat, so... Yeah, you know, skeleton remains, what can I say? <laughs> um, if you have a look right on the side here, this gentleman is actually in the process of fry, uh, throwing some fish on the grill. He's got meat on the spit, doing a fine job. He's got the nice flames hitting everything pretty good, I would say. Um, if you do like the scenery and the noise of the water, there's always a nice little hammock. Get a decent view, and you don't have to look at the power plant. But without further ado, let's get to the heart of this bad boy. All right. As you step inside, you will notice that you're obviously walking into the very front of the pub. Our vendor here, AKA our beer bartender, your tender Oof. he <laughs> is actually sporting a nice little headwear of fish he's got a nice built-in aquarium nice um take a walk to the right here we do allow restroom breaks <laughs> nice. and not only that we actually have toilets for each gender Obviously, we know which one us guys would uh, unfortunately use, but <laughs> <laughs> take a walk on out here. We do we do allow smoking in the building. I don't know if you did notice, but you did walk past a cigarette machine at the door, and we do have built-in ashtrays for each one of our tables. Nice. I mean, granted, we only have one table, but... <laughs> <laughs> We do have some things, you know, the, let's say the fisherman's out there, he's 
you know, either got all the fish he can take for the day or he hasn't caught nothing and he just wants to go somewhere to relax, we do offer nine ball, fully functioning. We have some really beautiful music on the jukebox. Oh, and by the way, it is also an aquarium. If you nice. take a look inside. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. And don't tell our wives, but we do have a gambling problem. I do have the poker table set up. Right. But the good thing is at least all the chips will stay in the center that are thrown in. And this is my favorite part. Bear with me. There is a lot of neat things in here. This is the kitchen. As you step inside, if you do enjoy a cold beverage we do have purified water cooler with floating orb don't ask what's in the orb that's a secret <laughs> and then we do have meat that is prepped ready to get chopped up along with one slice going down fortunately my chef is kind of lacking at the moment he has all this food out and don't know where he went Probably on a smoke break. And you take a sporting look. He does have some fish and meat in these ovens. Doesn't look like he lit them yet. Shame on him. Along with... I don't know what that is. Is that some sort of sushi casserole thing going on? I'm not sure. He's got two <laughs> two bowls cooking over here. Nice. Your guess is as good as mine is what's in it. <laughs> we do sport... Fruit, we are very, very healthy here, sometimes, other than the alcohol. Um, we have our mixing bowl all set and ready for any sort of dish, side dish that he uh, has to whip up in a hurry. And then you get on to where he actually prepares the fish. He weighs them out to find out how much they weighed, if they're of any value. And if they are not, they get put down on the chopping block. We did happen across an egg also, which is at the moment getting rinsed off before they figure out how they're going to cook that much egg. <laughs> and if you come on to this section, this is more of the vegetable and vegetable kind of pre preparation area along with smoked meat with different vegetables and fruit, depending on preference um if you take a look right here there's a fruit bowl down at the bottom with different different fruit that uh, a gentleman asked to have his meat smoked in um up top we do have uh, a couple pumping and pumpkins that aren't looking too healthy but hopefully our chef gets down to scraping those out and making us all some pumpkin pies um we do have also couple of fruit bowls that somebody wanted a nice good smoothie smoothie machine is all set up and ready it looks like he's about to make one too he's got a fruit bowl going on in there um, and then the good thing is you don't have to worry about germs and bacteria because we do have a fully functioning sink with fruit already inside of it get washed off cleaned along with soap dispenser on the side just in case and I think that pretty much completes my kitchen and, and the majority of the